All right, uh, retro gaming fans uh, that are rocking uh, Android or iOS devices, uh, we've got a game sale today for you. It's uh, out of this world from a... Uh, originally, my experience, it was Interplay. Now it's like .nu or .emu or something. Anyway, no matter what, it's, it's on sale on uh, Android and iOS for under a dollar. Now, back in my day, I, when I played this on Super Nintendo, this game cost probably... If I remember correctly, it was over 40 bucks. It's, I, I caught it on sale. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can see from the background that play, in the video playing right now, it's a the original was a flat shaded uh, polygon affair. Back, you know, keep in mind in 91, 92, this was nothing. There was nothing like this. This, this was uh, especially on cartridge. And uh, Sega hadn't tried doing anything like this on their Sega CD. Although later we would see an out of this world sequel and the original on one CD on one Sega CD it, had, it didn't really improve other than music it didn't really improve on the Super Nintendo version the first real improvement we saw with uh, out of the uh, out of this world was uh, when the 3DO was released and uh, as you can see right now the backgrounds playing uh, 3DO that's my, my uh, Jack Jack saying hello and uh, anyway uh, with the 3DO, we got a, a much better uh, uh, graphic. You know, graphically everything was better. Uh, there was, as you can see, there's textures on the walls. Uh, everything just looks gritty. It's not all pristine and shiny like it is in the uh, Super Nintendo. But as you can see, our our main our main character here, he's he's still pretty much flat shaded. Uh, they used a few more colors to do some do some things. But uh, the worlds just look a lot more alive on the 3DO version. And uh, when you get to, you come over here to look at the Android or iOS versions. On the Android and iOS versions, you'll notice that uh, the, the graphics are uh, slightly upgraded over the uh, 3DO, where the 3DO went from a. Uh, 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 anyway, the, three, uh, the Android and iOS versions are based on uh, another update called the, uh, I believe it's called uh, Another World in the, on Android and everything, uh, which that's the European name. They have, they have a graphics based on the 25th anniversary edition, which saw a release on a lot of different platforms. Uh, I'm not sure why in America they called it Out of This World, but everywhere else they call it Another World. In America, we had a movie from uh, 19, you know, 1987 that ran in 1991. Interplay was good with that, but anyway, they did. That's what we know about it in North America. Everybody else knows it as another world. Go, you can head over to uh, uh, iTunes and Google Play right now and grab this uh, rather uh, stylistic. Uh, action adventure for under a buck. Now, normally it's five bucks, which is still not expensive. But with mobile devices, everybody wants everything cheap. So, right now it's on sale for a buck. Don't let this one pass you by. If you, if you like stylized cinematic adventures, you're gonna you're gonna like this. It's not Super Mario Brothers. It's not Sonic. It's not Run and Gun. You're gonna have to stop and take your time, pay attention. You're gonna have to. Uh, sometimes make breakneck decisions. Other times you're going to have to stop and pay attention to the game world around you before you make a decision or you'll die. That's the type of game this is. It's, uh, it's, it's different. You know, you're going to, you know, it's, it's going to be challenging for the first time you play through. I've still, I've still not beaten this game myself. Probably never will. But I still enjoy playing it. I mean, those, those, the in-game cinemas are pretty awesome. Uh, I still pretty much die, you know, probably about four, four or five minutes or so after you, uh, I don't want to spoil anything for you. I don't, I make it maybe about halfway through, maybe just over halfway through before I end up dying. But, uh, yeah, for a buck, I mean, come on. Support the developers, you know, help, you know, support the people making games like this if you, this is the type of game you want. And uh, hopefully we'll get more games like this in the future. I mean, show these developers support. You know, sell them some cash. I mean, they're, they're knocking, you know, $4 off their entry price. You know, at least buy it. I mean, 
if you're just a retro gamer and you want to see more retro games, buy it for a buck. Don't play it, just buy it. You know, show them some support. Help more games like this come out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, all that good jazz.